What an interesting opinion, Julie says. So, let's hear her story from the beginning. When did you first met her? It was 12 years ago, I answer. There is a silence for a while. I wait for her question and she waits for my story, apparently, as she later explains. Well, go ahead, just freely tell the story. Oh, okay. Um, I try to recall the past. The story began when I had a meeting with a new client. I was riding in his helicopter from Jakarta to his cottage near Bogor when I saw a fast garden. So I asked the pilot what it is. The pilot said that it was a private property owned by Putra. The garden was so beautiful from above. I really wanted to visit it, but I was busy, so I didn't, until one day when I was very stressed. The global market was down and many of my clients complained. By the way, you know that I am a financial advisor, don't you? Yes, I do, Julie answers. She is busy taking notes. Keep going. This is going to take a long time to finish. Why don't we move to the dining table? We hire nannies from Indonesia and they have prepared a lot of Indonesian finger foods. They are very exciting about your visit. I don't know how many hours they have spent preparing all this food, I say. Julie walks to the dining table and says, Wow, did you tell them to cook this much or they voluntarily did it? We tell them to cook simple food, but they insist on cooking this many items, I explain. Oh, I should have come here when I interviewed Mia. Instead, I came to her office. This is amazing hospitality, Julie says. Look, they even write down the food names and descriptions. Oh, that's my wife's handwriting, I say. What is... Sempi Dek? asked Julie. Jumpa Dak? I think it's a kind of food, I answer. She tastes it. Very distinct taste, Julie says. Deliciously sweet. Okay, so you visited the garden. Did you meet Mia that day? No, I say. My mind travels back to the day I visited Mia's power plant. It was a sunny day. I had a very stressful week. The global stock market was down. New clients threatened to withdraw their accounts. Some clients were panicked and asked advice every day. And I had a lot of clients. Thankfully, I remembered the garden I saw several weeks ago. So that Saturday, I drove to Bogor to find a garden thinking that the beautiful scenery could soothe my troubling mind. The garden was located in a rural area near Bogor, but the road to the garden was very well maintained. As I arrived there, I saw a big sign, Putra Power Plant. I was at the right place. I knew it was a private property, however, most Indonesians are polite toward white people. Also, money can buy access to many places. Nothing is impossible. I've made up my mind to try to negotiate with the owner of the plant, or first with these security guards who greeted me at the welcome gate. 